Welcome back to River Funsies. On this episode, we'll be doing a fishing guide review. And this was a few years ago in Colorado. And before we started our fishing trip, we did stop by the Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park, which was near the town of Gunnison, but also near the reservoir where we'd be doing our fishing which is called the Blue Mesa Reservoir, the largest in Colorado. So the Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park was a neat place. We didn't stay long. We just did a little bit of hiking around the rim. And uh, I would highly recommend it if you find yourself in the area. Be sure to stop by, check it out. It's uh, certainly worth the trip. And hopefully one day... Uh, If we return, we'll do a little more extensive hiking down into the gorge below. We did see some people uh, going down there to uh, do some fishing. And uh, we just didn't have the time and didn't have the equipment to make it all the way down into the valley. So we just kind of stayed up at the rim. And like I said, did a little bit of sightseeing, a little bit of hiking. And the staff were very friendly. Uh, Very excited to see us and very enthusiastic about their jobs. So we started out from Gunnison and then uh, made our way over to the Blue Mesa Reservoir. And our targeted species was Kokanee Salmon, which are a landlocked version of salmon. They don't get very big, three, four, maybe five pounds. And uh, it's a very unique way to fish for them. Uh, our guide, who worked very hard to put us on fish, would uh, locate these different spots where the fish were bunched up. And within the, you know, a di- diameter of three or four feet, we would fish, uh, you know, 70 to 80 feet down with these jigs and, and just go up and down until um, and we hooked a fish. Uh, the fish would weren't hungry, but they would attack the lures. And we almost got our full limit that day, but, uh, you know, we did get enough to practice the art of uh, holding a fish to make them look big for the camera. And this was a fail because you can see the the finger sticking out, kind of revealing how big the fish is. Now, if you move closer, you can see the fish looks gigantic if you crop out the finger. So that's a win. Uh, This is a fail because if you are wearing reflective sunglasses, you can see how far out your arms are extended to hold the fish. Uh, once again, if you are showing your fingers while you're holding this fish, it kind of throws off the perspective and it looks like a three or four pound fish, not a massive one as you're trying to portray. So as long as you can hide your fingers behind the fish, you will be able to trick people into thinking that you caught something a lot bigger than you actually did. But these fish were, like I said, three, four, five pounds, and uh, they fought pretty hard. And uh, certainly my first time to catch salmon, uh, especially kokanee salmon, and they were delicious. I can't overemphasize how tasty these fish were, the best tasting fish I've ever had. Uh, And I would certainly go back and use the Blue Mesa Fishing Guide Service again. They did great. They worked hard for us. I highly recommend them and would use them again. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll have some more videos out soon. Have a good one.